Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back with another recording of Rogue Legacy. Let's choose our heir and continue the battle. Continue the struggle. The struggle continues. Whether we want it to or not. It, it's been 2,000, well, 1,300 years since we've started the struggle. Many, many generations. I kind of wish it would tell us what generation we're on, but it will at the very end. Do I want a Hokage or a Paladin? I'll take a Paladin. I have 92 gold from that last run, not gonna help me. But I did get a new cape, and this cape is an interesting idea. It would require 500 gold, plus I need 35 more strength to, or weight to carry it. And it will rec reduce our health by 30. But even all of that, I'm still kind of interested in it because it has vampirism, which means with every kill you gain some health back. If you could use that to your advantage and kill more creatures than take damage from creatures, that will start being a very useful ability. But right now, mostly I take more damage than I deal. I need to hone my skills to a point where I'm killing somewhere around five guys, I would say, for every um, one. Here's a new room. Pick one. Greetings, adventurer. I'm here to give you a chance at a life of a lifetime. For a measly sum with 25% of your current gold, I will give you a chance to open one of three chests. One chest will triple what you paid, but the other two are empty. Sure, we will do it since that's a small amount. So the question is, which one do we want to pick? Uh, let's pick that one. What's in the box? Nothing! You stupid, so stupid! <laughs> Thanks a lot. So... Ideally, if you want to gamble with this, you would want to have a lot of gold before you even talk to them. Uh, pay 25% of, say, a couple of thousand gold, and you could potentially uh, triple that. Well, you exactly triple it if you win. Okay, to beat all the enemies. Pointless run. Let's see, Barbarian King or Miner. We will take the Miner. Can't spend any of that gold, so 90% of it goes down the toilet. So, 19 So, that last run is a great example of a run that didn't really do anything for us. It didn't probably do anything to make us level up. Probably didn't do anything to uh, increase my health. The only thing it might have done is given us the opportunity to become a better rogue legacy player. And whether or not I'm actually accomplishing that is up in the air. For me, for my playstyle, the one time I record myself getting the broken is 
going to be the ultimate victory and probably the last time I'll play with the game for a very decent amount of time. Uh, technically, I guess this is the third time or second time I've played. Um, starting over from scratch. Because once I played it on Xbox 360 and once I played it on Linux, That's alright, by by me. I obviously knew that before I started. And there has been at least a year between each one of those playthroughs. So this might be one of those games where I just am always revisiting it. Or once in a while. So last recording we re we attempted the boss, it did not help us at all. We're not ready. Ah, new journal entry. Journal entry 6. I believe there's about 30 of them. I have never liked the dark. I prefer to meet my enemies in an open field in plain sight. But now I find myself braving these dark and gallows with one gauntlet outstretched and the other by my hilt. I can never tell what horror lies beyond each corner. I am the greatest swordsman of, of all the lands, yet even I am having trouble keeping these demons at bay. My siblings should be grateful that I rushed ahead of them. For them, it was a blessing in disguise. They would not have have the fortitude to survive these halls. Again, we don't really know if this journal is like one journal entry of the Prince's Journal is what it says. So is it just one person's journal, or are these separate stories from multiple, multiple people? I don't know. It probably is one person's journal, but it kind of works both ways. I got him. So, 1783. How do we want to do this? I have four health. Run back this way and get some more magic. That's all I can really do. Now I'm gonna have to come over here. Try and defeat all the enemies. Uh, that's not gonna work. Good run. Pretty good run. I have to admit, we didn't do as much as we would have liked, but... Let's play as the Lich with Morphism. 
So do we want to unlock Spell Thief? I think we do. We'll do that. The Spell Thief drains mana from enemies they hit. And grants them access to an infinite supply of mana in the heat of battle. Rock on. Interesting. And if we upgrade the Spell Thief, we can press Y to cast Empowered Spells. I'm gonna go ahead and equip up two. So, we still have the upgrade the miner, upgrade the lich, and then upgrade the spell thief. And then we will have it. at least one point in everything we've seen so far. <laughs> I chose Dwarfism because, yeah, I think there's 30 entries, because that gives me opportunity for secret, secret, secret entrances. So I have a Lich thing, which is a plus max HP, so I'm at 71 max HP right now. If my HP stays the same, it goes to 75. So as long as I don't take damage, I'm good. Even if I do take damage, my max HP still goes up, but then I need to eat something. 79. The point is, the Lich could become very powerful if we can make a great run when we kill a bunch of small town creatures. There is a maximum, theoretically, because there's a maximum number of enemies in this game, no infinite spawning, but that could be a very big number. Why did I eat that? I don't know. Um, I can get this. I think. Yes, I can get it. Ranger chest plate. further into the worst location possible, but that was great. That was really nice. That's why you take dwarfism, I guess. If you can, if you have a pick, take it. There was a collectible pick. That magic spell does drain fast. So we, we've got to manage to get past this guy somehow. There we go. I'll take that gold. Arg. 
spike. I still think that was a pretty good run. Let's see. Do we want Lady Winry? Or Sir Cell, you're nearsighted. Nearsighted, what does that do? Anything far away is blurry. Yeah, I don't want that. There's no opposite of tunnel vision. I, or if there is, I don't know what it is. I'll take this one. So we have 400. We cannot buy anything with 400 on this one. Let's see that new chest plate we got. It costs 1500, would give us 22 armor. That is something we definitely want to get. This will cost 365 to buy that. So, give us a little bit more magic. Could have spent 300 to get a cape. But, we're, we, we're starting to see where we need to really get the, um, get the, our equipment weight ability up. Always starts in this room. Is it important in designing a game like this that you always start in the same room? I don't think so. I mean, and if you really want to get down to it, they, they start in the outside of the castle, which is always the best. Then they start in that room for no reason. If, and if they were gonna just give me a, a room, um, they would just give me the opportunity to get just a few points. Why not give me the opportunity to get a lot more points? And you don't need the boss door to always be the thing you're walking across because you could simply have it be that you go to the boss yeah. as soon as you beat the other four bosses. a struggle. I'm about to die. This is a nightmare. that gold. That sweet, sweet gold. It really doesn't matter what other traits they have. 500. If I had one more gold. And I guess that's where I need to really make sure now that we're starting to get about four or 500 unlocked. I need to really make sure I spend the money I can spend and not waste it. Like, 200, I can't spend it. 300, probably can't. After I get all the things that cost 300, I probably won't be able to spend it somewhere on 4.
just overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Uh, and I didn't get the chest. I did not get the chest. Bury me with my money. This is last words. Let's play as a pal in the tunnel vision. Again, nothing here we can buy for 500. But we can buy the blood sword. It is an interesting effect that the system has added to because we are buying things from uh, your mind not actually have ever purchased if it weren't for the fact that you lose your gold. room to try to get out of. Yeah, just completely impossible to get out of. I'm having trouble getting out of it even with the ability to fly. And this one's not much better. Uh, perhaps there is a combination of abilities that you're highly recommended to have. I think the dashing thing um fine. Yeah. So now the the trouble is how do we get back? Journal entry, good. At least we're getting more journal entries. If we're not accomplishing anything else, we're getting more journal entries. It is still night. Past every window stares black, the same melancholic moon. But I swear, I have been here for at least a whole long waking day. It must be the adrenaline. I've never felt so powerful, yet simultaneously challenged. It's, it is exhilarating to charge through these rooms, cutting down in the afternoon. In some ways, the foes in this castle feel tailored to me, training me, guiding me, watching me. This may sound crazy, but if the castle somehow senses those within it, I fear it may hold malicious intent as well. My assumptions are correct, the design of these halls could all be a ploy, calling me down further into a trap. I must stay alert. <laughs> is it a trap? In a lot of ways, this game kind of is a trap. Like all games are a trap. If you think about it, they are designed to keep you involved in playing them. Or, to say it a different way, they trap you, your attention.
But I wouldn't go as far as to say the only way to win is to not play. To quote the Whopper computer from War Games, which is a great movie. Sharon Zobel. Excellent. Now I'm about to die. I, with my 796 uh, gold, I can play the second round of this. Maybe I just want to play as a paladin or something along that line. Not just go with the last Maybe if I had a little bit more health. I think I can get to this here. like I might be able to. Do I want to play as a miner, or as a lich, or barbarian king? Hmm. I don't think we've used the barbarian shout either, so let's take the barbarian king. Now there's no reason whatsoever to spend any of the money. Instead, we will use the oval and go back and play again. Ah, kind of like that, but that did take a lot of magic to do that. Uh, knocked them all back. It's knocking them upward and backwards. Was it worthwhile to kill that guy? Ha <laughs> ha 
Let's go. Several things there, but I don't believe any of those are really what we need. Hmm. Fifteen hundred. That's it. We need more armor. So. I need five more. Do I have enough for five more? so I can just put on some new armor. Some new armor would certainly have us taking less damage. Each, hit, each dumb little hit. Because, as you can see, it's just like this first run. It's, it's a total nightmare. playing on my mode. That 
one magic attack seemed to work pretty well. Give me a lot of gold. Nope, instead of MP plus 5. Alright. So the permanent stat upgrade never stops. In theory, after you've played the game all the way through and unlocked all the um, blueprints and ruins, you will just continuously get upgrades and then the, I believe the game very easily won't stop leveling up the enemies. So you could maybe get to level a million if you just played enough. I'm not sure if that really would happen. I'm gonna take extended memory, Sir Cellar 3. Five hundred and sixty. Five hundred there. Five hundred there. Seven hundred there. I believe it's the same everywhere. I suppose the ruins. And I can't buy anything there. That's irritating. So, yeah, I guess you could just play this for the episode of the rest of your life. Um, since this is on my now professional Steam account, this playthrough will probably never get deleted. But I'm, I'm not sure I'm super motivated to start up with this match. Although this game might motivate me to do that a lot more than most games. Almost no other game would be to get the convincement of a to play it again. Usually when I've beaten a game, I've done enough of it that I don't feel that it's something to play. Particularly as a YouTuber who has tons of video games to play and cover. I just don't have enough hours in the day to go back and play. So I, I won't keep this game playing, but probably won't play this game for at least a year. And probably will play it in some personal time. That is something I'm trying to, to develop for myself is professional playing in which I talk and criticizing a game and then separate uh, times when I am resting and playing. Of course, that may very well end up with me blistering or overusing my thumbs if I'm playing video games. Uh, twice as often, or more, because of, uh, just because I want to, but as long as I want to, I'll try, this one's doing good, maybe it's because I'm not overly focused on that often is the case. So, yeah, I got flying on the edge a couple episodes ago, and I thought that was some kind of bug or something where I was stuck on the edge, and it wasn't. I just was flying right next to it. Since I'm not used to flying above it. Thousands. We still know it's no point in trying to take the bomb. No point whatsoever. Was that worthwhile? Yeah, I guess it was. 1500. Nah, it 
wasn't worth a tier foot as well. I just got lucky. I need to save the spell for magic attacks for things I really need. So I'm gonna go ahead and move back to the beginning. It's 1605. It'll just be quicker to check out the other section. I've extended memory again so you can see the red dots of all the enemies that are still on there, including things like the spike balls. the map here, there's a couple of different ways we can go about this. We could try to run into the dark world and run through there and maybe find some areas where there's nothing available. So the problem with the prince's journal is that he keeps running across these dead adventurers, but some of the earlier dead entries indicated that the prince was the first person in his family to take on this area. Maybe that is because other adventurers have come and they've died, or maybe it is because each entry is from a previous like, next generation of or maybe it has something else to do with something else. I don't know. I do know I'm at 2331. And I like that number. So my plan here is to run through this and get through it as best I can, I guess. There we 
Maybe Helios is blessing and giving us more uh, potential stuff. So we know the way down to the dungeon. We know the way to the forest. We know the way to the boss room of the castle. And we probably could assume that if we went one more square upward from that room, we'd hit the bottom. This is a relatively safe thing. I want to see if we can run through this section and actually make some actual progress. As we take on these bigger guys, we will get more gold. trouble try equipping grace runes well if I had any grace runes I would equip them right now Let's choose our next heir paladin hokage or archmage I'll go with a paladin one more run so we can upgrade to the lich we can upgrade our haggle so we save 20% we could upgrade our miner. Interesting. We could also buy the sage sword. Could also buy the blood thing. I'd like to be able to equip this, but I need 25 more strength. And if I was to do that, then it would be several. Yeah, I'd upgrade would be another 10. I'd have to spend at least three, so that's probably 1500 right there. Do I want to upgrade the haggle? Really? Or the miner? I think I'm going to do the minor because I really don't feel like the haggle is going to get us very much. We'll keep 50% of our our things once we get it to the maximum, but right now it's fine. All that digging has turned you and your miners into spelunkers. Now that the spiffy light on your head actually does something, not really. I think it probably does. Uh, I bet it probably actually does do something. So now I have 477. That's 500. That's 500. That's 700. Ah, so I'm gonna lose. 350 gold here. Basically. What a great run that last one is. I am heavily suspecting this one. Don't follow suit, but it would be nice to fit. So, the last run is a great example of kind of where you want to start to be reaching. Uh, once the main castle starts to be too easy, and only you'll only get out of time before you will start 
stop venturing that to the other side. Different design on the room. Journal entry 9. The door to the throne room is driving me mad. Beyond it lies the king's salvation and my reward, but it stands silent in the middle of the castle foyer. I tried pushing it, kicking it, yelling, open cells of me, but nothing worked. There are icons emblazoned on into the door, and one of them looks like a beast I avoided deeper in the castle. Perhaps there is some correlation. Well, yes, there is. You have to beat all four of the beasts. to the level where I need to be at, as far as skill. It's all about going, not taking hits, avoiding, pretty much never stop moving, too. If, you're, if you stop moving, you're probably not playing the game, right? I don't know why I'm finding more chicken, but I feel like I, I don't think I got any upgrade or anything. Get out of there. That's not safe. So back to the beginning we go again. The layout of this world. So probably this way. Well, we've already found the entrance to the forest. So this way I suspect it's
get it any further than that. What a good run! What a good regular just paladin run. Uh, sprint ruins. Interesting. So we got 1379 gold. That's nothing to shake a stick at. And yeah, we're making progress. We are slowly progressing, slowly getting better, uh, slowly increasing my own personal skill. I bet there is a small percentage, just a tiny percentage of people that wouldn't be able to beat this game. If you uh, run into rogue games, roguelike games, um, and you really are dying non-stop and you weren't getting gold to unlock anything, that's where you'd have to say to yourself you're not going to ever be able to progress. Because other, otherwise you're just playing the game right. The, the way the game is supposed to be played is you're supposed to die. The only difference is are you supposed to, if you can die after you have enough gold to at least unlock one thing. If you were still at level one and you never got enough gold to even unlock the very first thing in your hand, then yeah, you're not gonna make any progress. Or if you're at level 50 and you just can't get enough gold to ever unlock the final thing you need to upgrade, or if you've unlocked everything and you still can't beat the boss, uh, those would be the three options in which you, you would have to give up. Or if it's just frustrating, you give it up. But remember, it's just a game. Anywho, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.